Might have to give it the juice. Very little juice happened. Hey guys, welcome back. <coughs> Going out for some snow wheeling today. So I swapped out my new, I put my new BDS springs in, so I wanna test those out. I was running in rough country before and we all know how rough country is, they're not always the best. <laughs> Rode really soft, I just didn't like the way this thing rode, so I'm gonna try those out and see how they go. I can already feel the difference, the stiffness in that is way better already. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna be pretty nice, but I hated having the sway bar disconnected on this thing. It just, it felt just so unstable and that, but we'll see. Well, yeah, we just left the gas station and now we're uh, gonna go hit the mountain and see how much, see how deep the snow is up top, so. I just got, just got a trailhead. Josh is already whining that his feet are cold. <laughs> when I said I was gonna wear my those boots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna go down. What are you earning down to? I was probably gonna go to 10, maybe eight. I do have my compressor as well, so. Okay, yeah, I'll, probably, I'll probably start around 10, I think. Get the new springs on that do. Definitely like the way it feels a lot better, that's for sure. I'll put our share down. Josh is just doing his last one now. His takes way longer than mine. It's funny, the same one, same size tires, and his is way slower. Anyways, <clears throat> last time we went out last week, I lost my, my memory card, shit to bed, and lost all my footage, but my sway bar, when I disconnected it, was to have it up here, strap it up to this. Well, every time I would articulate and turn, I would smoke this, and it was like, it turned out to be a huge pain in the ass. So I'm gonna just, it's pretty stiff, like it doesn't really move. So I'm gonna try to just leave it right there and see if that works. If it does, I might try to put a mount like here or something like that and hold it in that area. But I don't know, we're gonna try it out like this today because it did not work last time, that's for sure. For low, put the rear locker on, see what she does. How's those lockers now, buds? <laughs> A little slippery right there, holy moly. That's it. At least I get around the corner and see how the old traction control does. Ah, she loves it. This is Josh's first time using lockers in the snow. Oh, I can really walk on this. Oh. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> it looks cool with your four tires spinning in one spot. <laughs> I think ours is slightly over farther that way. Yeah. Who needs lockers? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Whoa. I thought you were going to hit that tree for a second. Lockers or not, you still need to find the right line. My first attempt was not the right line. Oh well. You can see where the tire marks are, it's just pure ice. Yeah, I don't know what this, well, this is the best idea. Probably not. <laughs> um, at least if you back up more to the right, there is some solid ground there. Is that frozen? Yeah. Just a little bit of left. Okay. Um, Probably crank it right. Is there a spot to turn around up there? Right, if we can get right there. Okay. Yeah, I'd go from there. Might have to give it the juice. Very little juice happened. Crank it left really hard. And then go back. You're getting in the in the bushes right there though. Okay. Um Oof. Right, a stump on that side of it. Yeah. You're very close to it. Crank it left. Okay, go back. Keep coming. Trying to avoid that stump. Okay. That's good. Oof. I'd go straight now. Yeah, I'd go forward. Holy Toledo! That's crazy. That was something else. Holy moly. That was crazy. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I think going down is pretty good. <laughs> Maybe we'll check the front side. Yeah. So we tried the back side, but no, just too much. And too much ice. Too, so. Yeah, this isn't even the steepest part. Yeah, screw it. <laughs> oh yeah, are you gonna try coming off or? Yeah, I think if you kind of back up into that little hole First right there. Case, I can you up. Yeah, but I think if you go up, back up into that hole, then as I come up, then you can come down, then I can back into there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, once you get here, we're fine. Yeah. Whew. Stick to the fresh snow for a little bit of traction. That's the stump we were trying to avoid. 
Oh. Oh, fuck, she's muddy. I should have worn my boots. I was going to put my boots on. But it just even just walking in the driveway, they didn't really have a lot of traction. And I know the wife's going to yell at me for this, but she actually bought me stuff to put on the bottom of my shoes, like spikes. It's buried in the garage. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, made it to the front side of the trail. We were just on there. Hopefully this side has a little less uh, ice and death. Let's see what happens. She's still slick, but it's definitely better than the other side. Not hitting ice under everything. I would say so far it's been pretty even lockers versus no lockers but uh, we'll see in here if the lockers help or not Traction control doing its thing. Only if I had traction control, holy moly. I think lockers one on that on this hill, <laughs> or I paved the way for him. Who knows? She's a little windy. And trees are cracking. <laughs> the stuff we do to make videos. <laughs> I remember right, it's a pretty deep hole, but it's been a while since I've been here, so I'm gonna find out right now though.
nice little mud hole. Well, the one time we forget our chainsaws, both of us. <laughs> I almost thought I heard it crack, but ah, I should. Or I, or I can pull it with my winch. I, I think if you pull it with your winch, it'll actually break it. It's got some swingage too. Yeah. yeah okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> First time, you know. <laughs> Sound like a gunshot. <laughs> All right, well, who needs to chase that when you got a winch? That worked out well. On we go. <laughs> Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.